Hello, it's Greg Alba here. And it's John over here. So we watched Blade Runner 1 very late last night, but we needed a little bit of sleep so yeah, we can be awake for this trailer, and that's why it's coming at you a tad bit late. Yeah, minimal sleep. So we can understand two minutes and 15 seconds of our lives. Yeah, yeah. content. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Civilization, Prometheus, was built off the back of a disposable workforce. Whoa. But I can only make so many. Shh. Yeah. Happy birthday. Oh. Interesting. There is an order to things. Wow. That's what we do here. We keep order. Whoa. Ryan Gosling's perfect for The world is built on a wall that separates kind. Tell either side there's no wall. You bought a war. Ah! Crazy ass. You're a cop. I did your job once. I was good at it. you some questions. The <laughs> <laughs> two of them playing off each other. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Okay, to the future is finally on Earth. Bring it to me. They know you're here. Two stones. Two stones. I didn't need that tag at the end. <laughs> is, is he a replicant? I don't want to wonder about that right now. <laughs> is it going to be the same question you ask yourself all throughout the first Blade Runner? <laughs> don't. Or is it, it's, it's a different kind of replicant. <laughs> yeah. Different rules. So in this one, Jared Leto's is uh, the makers of the androids. I guess so. All right. Well, he looks like he's doing a much better job than he did in that one movie. That we won't mention. Which, uh, yeah, I can't think of any movie you might be talking about. <laughs> he looks really creepy here. You know, when we were watching the first Blade Runner last night, if I didn't know Ridley Scott directed it, and I was watching that movie, and someone told me, like, oh, Den Denis did, did this one, I would be like, oh yeah, I could totally see that. Yeah, totally. I've seen uh, three of his movies, Prisoner, Sicario, and Arrival. The way, the tone, the style, the kind of dark, you use the word uneasy feeling that you yeah. get in a lot of the scenes and how, you know, especially with Arrival being like a sci-fi picture, but a lot of them are just really good character scenes filled with tension. <laughs> and yeah. the camera likes to, the camera doesn't have to cut all the time. He makes deliberately paced movies, yeah. and, and Blade Runner is definitely like a deliberately paced movie that, that takes its time, but still gets played. Absolutely. You know? So I feel, so when we watched Blade Runner last night, we were like, okay, yeah, Denny's the perfect guy to, to continue the Blade Runner sequel. And Ryan Gosling, you know, playing a totally different character, but filling the type of character that Harrison yeah. Ford was filling for the first Blade Runner. Ryan Gosling's perfect for this, too. Yeah, because Harrison Ford has that low-key sort of... Not cool, but, but yeah. there's something cool about his that, vibe like, in that movie. That cool, dark, loner character who's yeah. very observant, has a lot on his yeah. mind. You know, Harrison Ford's quiet in a lot of scenes. He's mm -hmm. not he's not constantly running his mouth off. He's a, he's a rather quiet guy. And Ryan Gosling is the My master movies. actor yeah, at being quiet. Any guy who can do quiet <laughs> for a long yeah. period of time who can make looking at stuff look cool. But even, <laughs> some, of, but even some of the imagery here looks like Ryan Gosling's character is probably going to be pushed to more emotional depth, a little bit more on edge than Harrison Ford's character was in the first Blade Runner. Yeah, whatever his mission is here, it looks like it's beating the hell out of him. Yeah, <laughs> it, looks, it looks like one of those performances is going to start off rather calm, 
and then he's just gonna be a little bit more like on edge as the film keeps going. They even have a shot of the trailer where Ryan Gosling's like freaking out about something. Yeah. So I'm excited to see what they do there. But that one scene that they've teased now with the teaser trailer and this one where Ryan Gosling and Harrison Ford first meet, that's probably the thing I'm looking forward yeah, to the most. So <laughs> that conversation, that <laughs> intro is going to be yeah. awesome. I'm like, oh, these two playing off each other. Yeah, <laughs> this is totally. going to be perfect. I can't wait. Yeah, man. I mean, like, everything about this trailer pretty much is really awesome. Like, the... I was remarking last night when we were watching the movie, like, that movie is still impressive in the in just how it orchestrates its world and, and the city and its yeah. visual tone. And they did all that without all the crazy stuff we have today. So, so Blade Runner, like, is really impressive. And this looks really impressive, yeah. like, to look at. Like, the designs and the way the future world has progressed looks dazzling. What came to mind to me when you see that shot of Harrison Ford in the snow <laughs> is The Force Awakens. Oh. You know, that's where they were on a planet where it was all snowy before he died. That's going to oh. be Harrison Ford's second oh. death scene. Maybe. And then they're going to kill him off in the snow in Indiana Jones 5 as well. They're just <laughs> yeah. going to start making all the sequels <laughs> to his movies and killing him in every kill. Kill. <laughs> Killing him in the snow. <laughs> you cannot use my hologram. He just doesn't want his hologram ever to be used for yeah. anything. So he just wants all the continuity to have his characters dead. Which is a smart idea. I think Ridley Scott once came out and said that, yeah, Deckard's a replicant. I think he wants his flat out set it instead because you know all the versions of the movie leave it open to interpretation. But he said he's a replicant, which gets me curious because if this movie takes the route that he's a replicant, the movie says that they only had a four year lifespan. Rules are different. So did he meet someone who was able to fix the programming within him so he could last longer, mm. so he could live longer, or is there, did this movie take a different direction where he's a human being? Is Ryan Gosling a replicant? Is Jared, is Jared Leto, I think, I'm going to assume Jared Leto's an android who's building the androids. Android building more androids is an interesting idea to look at. Cause it's yeah, a, Ghost in the Shell. Yeah, <laughs> woo! Well, and hey, I mean, like, you can't not think about it. Because that was the thing, too, is I was watching, we were watching it last night, and I was thinking to myself, you know, this doesn't make stuff like Ghost in the Shell look unfilmable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, even back when Blade Runner was made, and that movie's <laughs> been around for a long time. Same concerns as always, as long as this doesn't just become a lot of cool images, and I don't have have any reason to expect it might because uh, De Denis Villeneuve is a great film. Yeah, I know really Scott's producing this one. He's not directing or writing it. But after watching Alien Covenant, revisiting mm -hmm. Blade Runner and seeing this, it's like he's he his films that he's at least involved in are going back to exploring the themes of creation. Creation, it, yeah, and, and uh, artificial versus real yeah. human intelligence and stuff. Because the first movie, you don't ever see any of the androids being built because the replicants are like kind of outlawed, you know? Yeah. I mean, they, they are. They're yeah. On Earth, at yeah, least. yeah. Yes. I like a good birthing of artificial intelligence scene that's always creepy and gooey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gooey and watching the uncanny valley slowly become more and more human. Yeah, yeah. So that was, that was a cool imagery right here. One thing I'm noticing in terms of color, because I feel like the first Blade Runner had a lot of the blue look, especially when you're in the city. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Here, uh, there's a lot of that yellow tint to it. Roger Deakins is a cinematography for Ah, the Deeks! The Deeks! The Deeks! I get an Academy Award, finally! Similar to the way, like, Fury Road is just shot incredibly and all the colors are super vivid, that looks like this, but in the Blade Runner yeah. context. This is probably one of the things I'm most excited to see now this year. You know, I think the team they've got together is amazing. Like, I'm actually excited to see Harrison Ford come back yeah you know, like i feel like that could be something interesting well i wouldn't want it without story. him if i were to hear like oh ryan gosling's filling in the shoes for harrison ford i would have been okay with that but it's more exciting to have a new character as ryan gosling because it's like at the end of the day ryan gosling's performances have proven he could fit in the tonal world of blade runner and i, I don't think he's ever seen like most of his films i don't think he's ever done a sci-fi pick this big no or a science fiction film Except for stay with there's the sci-fi. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was going to say, there's some that are kind of arguable, but but yeah, this is definitely like a sci-fi epic of different proportions. I mean, it still looks like science fiction and not just like an action movie, which I'm happy about, yeah. you know. I feel confident in the circumstances of this movie that they'll be able to, to do what the first movie yeah. did and just tell some sort of noir story and take their time with it. The only thing I didn't really want in this trailer was that specific coda at the end where they're like, you, there's something about you. That, that remains a mystery, right? <laughs> and I'm like, I know we'll do something questioning that, you know, in this movie, and I and I just didn't need it out of the trailer, like. 
-hmm. I didn't want to get to thinking like, is this going to end the same way? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's going to be the same movie. This does look like an expansion of the first one. They seem to be going to a lot more locations than they did in the first movie too. Yeah, I mean the scope seems giant. Yeah, it seems a lot bigger, but and one thing too is that the trailer is not filled jam-packed with action, and uh, I appreciate that. It kind it, of feels like it at times, though, to me, because everything's edited really fast. They still want you to have that, like, that. It's thrilling. It's it's a beat, you know. I think they're doing that for the trailer, though. Hopefully, yeah. I mean, I could see you taking the first Blade Runner and slicing that trailer to look like an action thriller when there's really not much action in it. See that, that? If you break down the trailer, a lot of it is just hold a gun, fire a gun, yeah, and that's yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like you're yeah, seeing yeah. crazy long ass action sequence shots or crazy car chase scenes or something. Yeah, yeah, it's just what they're choosing to sell it on, and I don't and I they don't want it. the movie to just be that stuff because I have, I, I haven't seen the trailer be. for the original Blade Runner. Well, that's different. That was in the eighties. <laughs> I know, but I haven't seen that trailer, so I don't know how they pitched that. Yeah, but looking at this and looking at other films of uh, Denis, I I think that they always are pitched like they have a lot more action in them than they actually do. They that's tend to go that way because that's what sells tickets. That's what gets people in the theaters is wanting to see the big spectacle. And, and I'm assuming when you throw down this much money, they're gonna want to do the best they can to sell some tickets. I just know what Alien has become, <laughs> and I just don't want that for this. And I don't have a lot of reasons to suspect. It might, but you know, Hollywood's a big machine. So. It crossed my mind anyway. And Dave Bautista, uh, every uh, the the roles I've seen him in that are not Drax, he's kind of just a quiet, strong guy. I'm hoping they give him an actual character here. Yeah, I hope he he's kind of like Bateau in uh, Ghost in the Shell. Just give him those tiny little eyes. Yeah. <laughs> just make him exactly like. Him. All right, guys. Well, you can subscribe to the Real Rejects. Click that you notification can. bell to get notified every one of our videos is out. Do it. We we recently launched a Patreon. We got that Patreon community growing over there. Just Do put it. up another video segment uh, this morning. Go check that out. Check out the fun rewards. John's reasons to Jerry on Twitter and Instagram. Social media manager of Blumhouse and the Real Rejects. Hell yeah. And shout out to Eva Mendez. Those are not Ryan's children. I know this. They're mine. Why would you do that to, to the manager of your heart, the guy that you love? Because only Ryan Gosling can raise my biological children. That's how they will reach their full potential. <laughs> yeah. If I have children with Ava Mendez and then Ryan Gosling brings them up as though they were his very own. Good looking is not nature, it's nurture. <laughs>